I believe we're standing at the edge of medicine's greatest transformation. Not since the discovery of antibiotics have we witnessed such potential to save lives at scale. Ibrahim here. After three decades watching technology reshape industries, I've never seen anything match what AI is doing to healthcare right now. This isn't hype. Here's why healthcare organizations that ignore A, I won't exist in five years. The convergence happening right now, unprecedented. We've got three forces colliding at once. First, every hospital generates massive amounts of digital data, patient records, scan images, genetic sequences. Second, machine learning has reached a point where it can actually understand this complexity. Third, Cloud computing makes these powerful systems accessible to any clinic with an internet connection. Now look, I worked with a hospital system in Texas that was drowning in patient data. Their doctors spent 60% of their time on paperwork. 60%? We implemented an AI system that automated their documentation. Within three months, those same doctors were seeing 20% more patients. The quality of care actually improved because physicians could focus on what matters. What actually works in healthcare? AI. Let me show you. Predictive analytics changes everything. Picture this. You walk into your doctor's office for a routine checkup. Behind the scenes, an AI system has already analyzed 10 years of your health data your genetic markers, your lifestyle patterns. It spots a tiny anomaly in your blood work that suggests early stage diabetes risk, not diabetes, just the risk. Your doctor intervenes immediately. Diet changes, exercise plan, you never develop the disease. That's happening today, right now. I consulted for a cardiology practice that deployed predictive models across their patient population. They identified heart attack risks weeks before symptoms appeared. Emergency admissions dropped by 35%. Insurance costs plummeted. Lives were saved. Here's the real issue with medical imaging. Human radiologists are exceptional, but they're exhausted. The average radiologist reviews 50 to 100 scans daily. Fatigue leads to missed diagnoses. Enter deep learning algorithms. These systems analyze millions of medical images, learning patterns invisible to human eyes. The radiologists using it as a second opinion, their accuracy jumped to 98%. This isn't replacement, it's enhancement. Let me tell you about personalized medicine, where AI meets your unique biology. Traditional medicine treats you like an average, same drug, same dose, same treatment protocol. AI throws that playbook out the window. It analyzes your genetic code, your metabolism, your specific tumor markers. Then it crafts a treatment plan designed for exactly one person, you. A biotech startup I worked with uses AI to predict which cancer drugs will work for individual patients. No more trial and error, no more wasted months on ineffective treatments. Patients get the right drug immediately. Survival rates have doubled in their clinical trials. Virtual health assistants are solving healthcare's biggest bottleneck, access. Imagine having a medical expert available 24 seven, never sleeps, never gets frustrated, speaks every language. That's what AI assistants deliver today. They handle appointment scheduling, medication reminders, symptom checking, mental health support, a mental health platform I help scale uses AI therapists for initial patient sessions. Not replacing human therapists, preparing patients for them, users engage with the AI when they are ready, not when an appointment opens. Crisis interventions happen immediately. Human therapists focus on complex cases requiring emotional intelligence and empathy. Now, the operational side excites me just as much. Healthcare runs on ancient processes, paper forms, phone calls, fax machines in 2025. AI obliterates these inefficiencies. Natural language processing reads doctor notes, extracts relevant information, codes insurance claims automatically. What took hours happens in seconds. 
I've witnessed a billing department shrink from 50 people to 12. Those 38 employees, they moved to patient care roles where human touch matters. Revenue increased because AI caught billing errors, humans missed, everyone won. Here's what keeps me up at night, the ethical challenges. I trained on data from wealthy urban hospitals might fail rural patients. Algorithms learning from historically biased medical research could perpetuate discrimination. Black box models making life or death decisions without explanation terrify regulators. These aren't theoretical concerns. I've seen AI systems recommend different treatments based on zip codes, not medical need. We caught it, fixed it. But vigilance is mandatory. Privacy matters too. Your medical data trains these systems. Who owns that knowledge? Who profits? These questions demand answers before we hand healthcare to algorithms. The future arrives faster than you think. Within two years, AI will diagnose common conditions better than the specialist physicians. Robotic surgeons guided by machine learning will operate with precision exceeding human hands. Drug discovery timelines will collapse from decades to years. Genetic therapies customized to individual DNA will cure previously untreatable diseases. This transformation isn't optional. Healthcare organizations resisting AI adoption face obsolescence. Patients will demand AI-enhanced care. Insurance companies will require it. Competitors already embracing it will dominate market share. So what should you do right now? If you're a healthcare professional, start learning AI fundamentals today. You don't need a computer science degree. Understanding how these systems think, their capabilities and limitations, that knowledge becomes your competitive advantage. Healthcare organizations need AI strategy immediately not next quarter. Now, start small, pick one workflow, implement AI assistance, measure results, scale what works. Patients should ask whether their providers use AI tools, push for transparency about how algorithms influence your care, demand explanations for AI-driven decisions affecting your health. Call to action, visit my Udemy courses to master AI applications in healthcare and beyond. Book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session through Wizen or Fiverr, where I'll guide you through implementing AI solutions in your medical practice or healthcare organization. The revolution has begun. Position yourself at the forefront, not the sidelines. This is Ibrahim reminding you that technology serves humanity best when we guide its development with wisdom, ethics, and unwavering focus on improving lives. Music fade out. Script notes for 11 labs. Total word count, approximately 1,100 words. Estimated duration, seven to eight minutes at normal speaking pace. All medical and technical terms simplified for clear AI pronunciation. Natural pause markers included with pause and section break. Emotion and emphasis built into sentence structure rather than relying on complex inflection.